Hey everyone, this is John from Earthshine Software, developers of Dashcam Viewer. And I wanted to point out potential pitfall that can occur. And this has been reported by a few people, so I wanted to address it. So this pitfall can occur if your Dashcam video does not contain GPS data. Now this can happen if your car has been sitting in the garage for a long period of time, doesn't have access to the GNSS constellation above uh, for an extended period of time. It loses lock, if you will. So, it, and it takes about four minutes, it depends, but between one and four minutes of access to the satellites before GPS data is obtained and recorded into the videos. Now, if you're doing one minute videos like I'm gonna show you here, it could take one, two, three, maybe even four videos before the GPS data is reacquired. So I'm gonna show you some of the pitfalls that can happen, how they can occur and how to get around them. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the cache. So I'm going to go into the GPS data cache. I'm just going to clear it. I'm going to start from scratch as if I hadn't loaded these videos before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load from, let's say, 2018 here to 2228. So about 10 videos or so. I'm just going to load those into Dashcam Viewer, drag and drop, and load those in. And you can see right away there's a problem. First of all, in this video, you can see I don't have any GPS information in the video uh, itself, and I'm not seeing anything here on Dashcam View where the speed is zero. I'm not seeing any map data. So the first video loaded has not acquired GPS, and it really doesn't know where we are. The next video, because of the way Dashcam Viewer works, all subsequent videos will not have a GPS lock because it couldn't, Dashcam Viewer couldn't figure out what type of Dashcam you're running. So the way Dashcam Viewer works, here's a, here's a list of compatible cameras. It does an inspection of the first file loaded to try to figure out which of these models that Dashcam uh, video came from. And uh, each of these has a different way of encoding the GPS data. Well, there's a lot of different ways. Maybe some of them share some of those ways, but basically there's many, many types of, of encoding data into the video. So, so what happens is it, uh, Dash Computer does a test on the first video loaded, and it just assumes all the other videos loaded have the same format. Now, if the first video loaded doesn't have any data, then Dash Computer gets confused. So. The way to get around it, and I'll show you how to get around it. There's two ways to get around it, but I want to show you a pitfall that can happen. Let's say you try loading these again. Um, even if you fixed any issues, you try loading these again. Notice how fast it loaded because the GPS data is cached, but the cache data is contaminated with those zeros. So even videos that should have GPS data because it's pulling from that cache, like this video here, I'm on the freeway, it's still not showing anything. So here's how you get around the problem. You go back into uh, the advanced preferences, you, you clean out the cache, okay? You wanna get rid of any data that was loaded previously. And now you skip the videos that don't have GPS data. So in this one, I think there was actually four so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, say, at um, 222 to 228. I'll reload these and see what I see. Okay, so here we can see that, yeah, one of them partially didn't have any data, but then we caught up, and now we have data as we continue our drive. And you can see... Uh, data, you can see it in the map as well. You can click in the map and go to different places. That's one way. Uh, another way to get around the issue is to just load videos from before you went into the garage. So I want to go ahead and, and say maybe I'll grab all the way up to here. So I'm going to load all these videos, process those. Okay, and now you can see driving, and here's the, here's the dead spot here. We're going to go into the garage. Okay, we lose GPS contact, and then we park, come out later. Uh, here's that partial GPS data lock, 
in the file, and the next file has full GPS. Let's see. Okay, we sat at the problem is we sat under that bridge for a while. And then if we have full GPS here, so we're back to having GPS data. So that's how the how to solve the problem. If you don't see GPS data and you expect to see some, it could be that the first video you loaded did not have any GPS data in it. And so that causes Dash Camp Viewer to misguess that video and subsequent videos as to what format that that video is. Now, once the data is cached, I can go ahead and reload and it should come out everything okay. Let's see, this particular one, oh yeah, because all the way to 220, uh, I need to go like to 222, 224. Okay, and there's my, there's my data after I've achieved GPS log. That's it for, for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to talking to you next time. Bye now.